Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Wednesday, June 16th. A uh, small green day overall today, plus $165. Uh, I was a little in the red this morning and then came back during the Fed announcement. We streamed live with our day trading members and uh, got uh, got it all back plus a little bit. So good to be ending the day green. Let's go over these. I'll show you what we did. Uh, starting with uh, just one mighty 90 that was in BABA this morning for plus 528. Did a couple pairs trades, one this morning in silver versus gold. That was a small loser of 157. And then did something a little bit different during the Fed announcement. Uh, I ended up doing a pairs trade in Tesla versus Netflix. So don't do a, don't do a lot of that, but ended up being a loser minus 366. I'll show you what happened there. And then in uh, on the runners, Roblox minus uh, a little over 1100. DKNG minus 384. Square plus 260. Netflix during the Fed announcement uh, plus 1230. And JP Morgan during the Fed announcement uh, plus 224. So let's check these out. Starting with... Let's start with the ones in the morning. Um, and my mighty 90 was in BABA. So let's go there first. So in BABA, pull this up, scrunch it in for you. Uh, so BABA had this nice push up, nice little sp sp uh, spike in volume, got short right here and caught this nice little down move for plus 528. Uh, on the runners, Roblox. So this is my biggest loser. Roblox. Uh, Robox uh, was pushing lower, had a nice volume spike. So on this bounce, I uh, got short, looking for some more downside, and this thing just ripped. So a couple things, I, you know, I probably, I, well, I definitely could have paired my loss smaller had I gotten out here, which is one of our exit points. I was waiting to see how it would react to the high of the day, though, and when it didn't roll over at all, it just blew through it, ended up closing it out. So it took a lot bigger loss than I wanted to on that, but I'm not, you know, I'm not horribly mad about how I traded it. Uh, you know, this is one that just didn't work out. And so, um, you know, it is what it is. Had to, had to take a loss and uh, and move on. DKNG, another runner, uh, minus 384 on this one. Uh, DKNG, big, big volume here. Uh, pulled back, pushed up, uh, and then I think I got out of some. It pulled back again, and that's all she wrote. So, uh, once it started kind of bleeding lower, just cut out of it. Took a uh, took a loss of 384 on that one. Square plus 260. Uh, and today was a, it was, I mean, it was a day of a lot of missed opportunities. I mean, I was trying to get filled in DKNG earlier, didn't get filled, so I ended up, you know, taking a, a trade a little bit later that didn't work out as well. Same with Square. This pulled back right here. I was trying to get long right here, and this thing just ripped higher. I missed that uh, when it did pull back. I got in here and I caught that move. Uh, but so plus 260, but it could have been a lot more. Um, let's see what's next here. Netflix. So, uh, yeah, okay. So we're on to the, uh, so those were all the morning trades. Now we're on to the fed announcement this afternoon. So let's start with Netflix. Uh, so Netflix was acting weak here. It bounced up to this pivot. We got short right here, caught this move down. It bounced up again. I added back in and caught this move down. Um, when, when, uh, Netflix started to push up, I was looking at Netflix and I was looking at Tesla. Netflix was, was pretty weak. Tesla, this whole time that everything was kind of pushing, bouncing, pushing down again, Netflix or Tesla was just kind of chopping around. So I, I, I figured Tesla was going to be strong if the market caught a bounce. Well, the market did bounce. And so what I wanted to do is I, I was like, okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get long Tesla. Uh, but in case this thing still stays weak, I'm going to get short Netflix at this area. So kind of a pairs trade, use a similar amount of buying power. Unfortunately, the push up in Netflix, uh, based on the, the contracts that I had outpaced the, uh, excuse me. Yeah. The push up in Netflix outpaced the push up in Tesla from the, from the number of corresponding contracts that I had. So I, that was actually a, a loser. Uh, even though Tesla really pushed I you know, it was just, I, I was using the same buying power and it wasn't really equivalent. And so it wasn't, it wasn't a great trade, but you know, I, Hey, if it would have worked out, I would have said that it was a great trade. So it just didn't work out. Uh, minus three sixty six on that one. And then, um, uh, JP Morgan, JP, JP. So JP Morgan had this, uh, banks. Well, let's look at the financials first. XLF had this big push up right when the fed announcement came out and then it just flattened out. 
Uh, we got into JP Morgan on a upside runner. So after this push up, when it pulled back here, got long and this thing just chopped around forever, forever. Finally gave us a push, got out of half. And then it was getting close to, you know, I wanted to be out by 2.30 central, and that was about right here, so I just cut out of the rest there. So booked a profit of 2.24 in J.P. Morgan. So that was the day, plus 165 on the day. I'll take it after being in the red this morning. Uh, look forward to streaming with you all tomorrow. See you then.